and welcome to Gifts of Wisdom. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're going to have a great day today. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're going to have a great day and you're going to have a great weekend. Today's topic is deep sleep is not cheap. And these days, it's been a it's uh, been a hard time getting that sleep, don't you think? And also news with a twist. Uh, let's start off. Yesterday was Veterans Day, and of course, we want to thank all the veterans, all the soldiers who not only gave their lives but put their time in and helped to protect us. But I want to make a proclamation. I think that Veterans Day should be every day. And the reason why I say that is because of all the trauma, the traumatic events that these veterans have gone through in their life that affects them every single day. And I want to bring and give a real big shout out to my lovely bride, Tracy, who's a 20 year veteran, retired from the Navy. And they just deserve a whole lot more than what they've been giving. And so I just really want you to know that every day is your day and that we support you every single day and may you be blessed and your health and mental challenges that you have to overcome be short and i love all of you and thank you for your service and next oh uh gavin newsom is in the news i don't know if you heard about gavin newsom but um here he is. First of all, he's the governor of California, which is the has the fifth fifth largest economy. Now, this isn't in the USA now. Not that fifth largest economy. It's in the world. Anyway, um, he disappeared for like 14 days. And the reason I'm bringing it up because I had uh I seen it. Uh, this came up in the news, and I I found out from um, my boy Jimmy Dore, who I love. If you haven't, you don't know who Jimmy Dore. You need to watch him. I've, I mentioned to him many times in this program. Anytime, anyway, he brought up this article here. It was kind of interesting. Gavin Newsom has not been seen publicly since receiving a COVID booster shot on October twenty seventh. Now, this is life site news. But then the LA Times, the Los Angeles, all the Los Angeles Times came out with this. And thank you again, Jimmy. Newsom's last public appearance took place October 27, when he received a COVID-19 booster shot. Just two days later, his office released a statement saying he was scrapping his Glasgow trip due to family obligations. But the absence came at an inopportune time for two reasons, both of which pertain to COVID-19. Meanwhile, COVID-19 hospitalizations are increasing in parts of the state. Right-wing right wing media has taken notice, with Fox News declaring masked California's COVID rate is now twice Florida's and pushing the false narrative that COVID-19 interventions are ineffective. So then he comes out, um, he said, Newsom said that after, this is from LA Times now, not me, 
Newsom said that after the state's recall election, he worked on signing bills. Then, only then, by the time his scheduled trip to Scotland for the UN Climate Summit rolled around, which his state is a big part of, his children were fed up. They, the kids, this is his quote, the kids literally, they kind of had an intervention. They said they couldn't believe I was going to miss Halloween. I woke up that next morning with something that is probably familiar to a lot of parents, that knot in your stomach, that I had no damn choice. I had to cancel that trip. Wow. You had to cancel that trip, one of the most important trips of your state, to go on Halloween. Okay. Now, nobody knows. He's denied it. He says he had no reaction over it. But no one had heard from him for 14 days. Now, I don't know any governor that can go 14 days without speaking especially in the pandemic and what's going on now. So I just reported, just remember, Los Angeles Times published this, not me. I'm only quoting. And thank you, Jimmy Dore, for finding this. If you haven't watched Jimmy Dore, check out Jimmy Dore. Next, Donald Trump may be leaving the Republicans. Oh, yeah? Well, it came out in a book. A quote in a book about Don. And I want to read this quote to you. Here's the quote. Interesting. So, apparently Donald Trump is mad because people... The Republican Party has let him down, and so he is threatening to go and start a party. Now, we've heard these rumors anyway. So this is from a book, and it quotes, This is what Republicans deserve for not sticking up for me, Trump told McDaniel, according to the book. In response, McDaniel's, McDaniel tried to convince Trump that creating his own party wouldn't just destroy the Republican Party, would also destroy him. This isn't what the people who depended on you deserve. The people who believed in you, McDaniel said. You'll ruin your legacy. You'll be done. But Trump said he didn't care, Carl Wright wrote, writes. Trump wasn't simply floating an idea, Carl writes in the book. He was putting the party chairwoman on notice that he had decided to start his own party. It was a done deal. He had made up his mind. He was very adamant that he was going to do it. A source who heard the president's comments later told me. So that is interesting. Now, the whole rumor thing has been going around that former President Dr. Donald Trump would be starting a party. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Uh, I, I, would, I, I, really, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. But again, one of the things in the, the way the political system is, all the money is in each party, okay? Each party. So... Um, each party has a lot of money, and I heard, I think, that they literally, Republicans are paying Donald Trump like $100 million a year for, for now for his representation of the Republican Party, but also for his attorney fees, because as you know, he had a lot of attorney fees, and the Republican Party was paying those, and so, um, and then again, you know, to give up everything that he has, including his Secret Service and all the perks that go with being um, a former president, I don't think he'd probably end up doing that. So I, I, I absolutely think he's going to stay with the Republicans because fiscally, I don't think it's good for Don, for, for President Trump to, to leave that party. And not that I'm for Trump 
And not that I'm for Biden. I only state the facts. So, all right. So, finally, um, here's some bad news. Sorry. Inflation index is 6.4% this year. Or I said at this month. Now, you know, I have gone out. I have another YouTube channel that I do in my city of Maricopa. And I go around and I do all the pricing on some, and I do pricing on items that you can tell have gone up. Like one went up from $7.98 to, to $9.98. That's not 6.4%. Something doubled. Okay, very few things went down. So now inflation index is 6.4%, but wages have risen only 4.2%. So we're all still losing money. So, you know, the little wage um, in pay is really, as you can see. So we are still... We're still losing money. And with that, we have the news with the twist. And next, we're going to be talking about deep sleep is not cheap. Now, a whole lot of us are having issues with sleep. I pretty much sleep like a baby. So I'm just going to let you know. But I want to give you my suggestions, some suggestions from my experience. All right. Now, first of all, First and foremost, now, if you have neuropathy, you have restless leg syndrome, you have depression, if you have serious arthritis, if you have sleep apnea, if you have an enlarged prostate, uh, gastric reflux, uh, hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, then you need to go see your doctor. So I can't, these are not things that I'm, I, I'm schooled on, educated on by any means. So if you have some type of a medical condition, then you absolutely need to go to the doctor. These are general suggestions. Okay. Um, so let's start off. Now, I think there's two types, two types of people here. You're either early to bed or you're a night owls. And maybe you're somewhere in between there. Okay. But usually it's one or the other. It depends on the cycle that you're in. Now, most of us need eight hours of rest or sleep. All right. There's three different types of sleep. There's your light sleep or deep sleep and REM sleep. That's where you dream. All right. Now, you have to always take into consideration some of it's hereditary. All right. You could be a hereditarily a light sleeper. Now, I can't speak on this. I'm just being general about it, that you might just be a light sleeper. Or you might be a heavy sleeper. Now, melatonin is... Did I spell that right? Melatonin. Maybe not. Uh, melatonin is what puts us to sleep. Okay? It helps us sleep. All right? And so we need the melatonin to quiet our brain down, start quieting the body. It's a hormone. starts to quiet the, brown, uh, the body down. And that's what helps get us, get us up to sleep. And then serotonin wakes us up. Now, we really need both because... You, if you have too much melatonin, you can't, you, your, your day is going to be, going to suck. And if you don't have serot, uh, serotonin, then you, too much serotonin, you, and you won't be able to sleep. But you, you can kind of regulate both, but it just takes a little bit, okay, of trial and error here on this. So all my suggestions is from my own experience. And, I have worked every shift there is, days, 7 to 3, evenings, 3 to 11, night shift, 
11 to 7, I worked, when I worked at Ford, I was working at from 5.30 in the evening to 4.30 in the, in the morning. So I am what I consider a, a, a novice, you know, somebody that knows about sleeping. So if you want to be this person, then you, you want to... This, if this is your goal, then this is who you want to be. Now, if this is you, and you want to be this one, then why don't you listen to a couple of my suggestions. Otherwise, you could be this one, or you could also be this one. And when you're that, when you wake up like this, you don't know what kind of person that the... Um, you know, that the world's going to get, right? So you don't know who, you, who, you, who you're going to be, right? You have no idea what person that you're going to be. So here's a few suggestions that could help you out and help you get to sleep all right these are suggestions okay now sleep you want to prepare for it all right so you want to think about what time you're going to go to bed now i'm someone who whose goal it is to be in bed asleep usually by midnight that's not happening at night because it's after midnight now but um i will i already have her prepared i already know what i'm going to do all right so it doesn't mean you're going to make it every night all right so here's my suggestions these are suggestions and they work you don't have to take them in some order there could be an order but again they're all suggestions, and you don't mean you got to do it all at once, but this is just suggestions. First thing, take your shoes off. Take your shoes off, take your socks off. Okay? Because psychologically, when you take your shoes off, it means your day's over and it's time to relax. All right? Start turning down all the lights. All right, now. You know, the lights are on when the Lakers are on, but when the game's over, it's time to take the shoes off, start turning it on the lights, bringing down it, taking out the, you know, leaving your frustrations in the television, okay? So you start turning down the lights. It's letting the body know that it's getting ready to do something, which is lay down to sleep. Even before you go to sleep, get into your night clothes. Get ready to go to bed. Now that could mean getting your night clothes after taking a hot bath. Okay, sometimes a, a hot bath will do it because um, it opens up, relaxes you, the heat and everything. All right. Now also one hour before, no alcohol. Start bringing it down. One hour. Some people are only need a half an hour, okay? Um, but you know the body is getting ready to, to rest, okay? You might want to read a boring book or an article of some kind, something that makes you cannot keep your eyes open, all right? You might do that when you get in bed if you, if you need to, okay? It's best not to be on the phone because the because it does affect your eyes, the, the phone. You know how bright these phones are. So these are just suggestions again. Another one, now this one I think is the most, one of the most important at least, is to darken the room to pitch black. Now I, I'm kind of, this is a guarantee. This is a guarantee to, to help you work, to help work. Turn out all the lights. Um, You know, Get your phone away from you. Turn the phone off. 
also. Now, if you have to have the phone on, you should have it away from you. You should have it as far away from you as you can get. Okay, now, you know, I got a, I have emergencies at times, so, you know, long reach to get it. But you should have that phone not on, okay, because the... Uh, the phone connects to the grid and the grid is constantly checking to make sure that that phone is connected all right so it can tell whether or not it's on or off all right it's going to always put out a signal and that signal being around you okay when you darken this room to pitch black all right and even when the sun comes up so now if you're someone you don't have to get up at dawn you, you don't get up at dawn maybe you get up at eight maybe you get up at seven it's light at six what you want to be in pitch black because what is being put in pitch black what it does is let the brain know it's time to go to sleep and that's when the melatonin kicks in serotonin is going to kick in the moment so if you do this practice which you're in pitch black the moment you see light you're because you've been in the dark that serotonin starts and that goes from that part where you're sleeping in the transition to being conscious all right so most people don't get up at dawn You know, so you want to make sure that if you're going to, you're going to sleep, you need those whole eight hours. Now, a lot of us, you get older, you might sleep less. You might sleep more. It just depends when you get older. Okay, maybe your melatonin is a, doesn't regulate like it used to. And your serotonin doesn't either. You see? Next, don't go to bed angry, especially with your spouse. That, that's the worst thing, is to go to bed angry. That's a, that's a rule in our house. We don't go to bed angry because it can cause your dreams to be nightmares. Now, if you're in an area where it's pretty loud, or the stuff in the night that might wake you up, then you might put on nature music, like Rainfall. YouTube channel has, you know, literally all kinds of rain with thunder, oceans going against the rock, birds singing. They got every kind of thing in the search engine. And you can get them for eight hours. Eight hours. No changes, no nothing. All right? And so... You want to drown out the noise, all right? Here's another one that's important. Set the room temperature below 70 degrees. The body sleeps better when it's a little cooler. When it's hot, it's just, it's just better when it's just, now I'm understanding 68, 69 degrees, okay, is the best. Some people use a fan. We have to have a fan. I have a fan. So that helps drown out the noise sometimes. Um, but again, sometimes the wife likes having the rain music on. So I can go either way. It puts me to sleep. Now here's another one that's important is if you can't sleep, get up. Just, uh, you know, just get up. It doesn't do you any good. All right. You just get up. Go do something. And, you know, and repeat it again. Just get up. Maybe you only need to go to the bathroom, you know. But just go do something five, six minutes, whatever it is. Then if you, when you get tired again, go back to bed. Repeat some of these steps again. So, you know, just... Change the music. 
All right. Um, set the temperature a little cooler. So these are just steps for, that I'm going to give you. I'm just giving you the suggestion here, okay? Now, if it's legal in your state, and there's a lot of states that it's not legal, but it is in Arizona. You can smoke some indica, indica marijuana. Now they have it in the little cartridges. They have it in the smoke. And indica marijuana will put you out in just a couple of hits, okay? So if you have it legal in your state and you, you know, you don't smoke marijuana, it, you use it as medication. Now, if you smoke marijuana, it's probably not going to help you. All right. Now, it could. But again, I'm saying to you that medical marijuana, and it's medical marijuana. That's what they sell, medical marijuana. And indica helps you get to sleep. So I hope these things help you out a little bit here. Um Sleep is so important. And I tell you, if you can get your sleep, you know, you're rich. Because when you get up, man, you can do anything. Anything. And that you want to be at your top. One of the things we have to be right now, ladies and gentlemen, is rested and is smart. Smarter than we've ever been before. So with that said, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to tell you, I'm sending you love out from the love of Mother Sophia, Holy Spirit, wisdom, all these things. That I, I'm always studying. I'm always wanting to give you little gifts and things like that. So if you like this, please uh, subscribe to my channel. So there's a couple more videos for you to watch. And I will see you. What is it? Monday? Yeah. I'll see you Monday.